Hi again then guys, and welcome to, of course, another speed build, in particular for Forza Horizon 4. This time we're covering one of my favourite cars of all time, easily my favourite Maserati, and Maserati as a brand is my favourite car manufacturer, the MC12. Like a Ferrari Enzo, but with class. And also extremely competitive when it comes to track racing. Now, as far as straight line performance, it's not the absolute fastest thing out there, but it certainly isn't slow. And one of the great things that the MC12 always has going for it is that it has very good straight line speed, but also really, really good cornering ability. So it more than makes up for like the 5 or 10 miles per hour that it doesn't have on something like a Koenigsegg or a Hennessy Venom or a, an Ultimate Aero. It's more of an all-rounder, if you will, in a similar way to the Zonda Cinque and a couple of others too. Now, as far as performance, I said it's a bit slower, but it's no slouch. 0 to 60, 2 seconds. 0 to 100, 4 seconds. Flat out, 268, at least according to the benchmark. And of course, in just a second, we'll see how quickly it can actually go in a race. Now, if you want to grab this tune without doing it yourself, you can get it straight from my storefront. So just use the keywords down below, or just search up my gamer tag, and you'll find it very easily. Now, as far as the upgrades, you want to increase the power as high as it can go. If I recall correctly, I don't think there is an engine swap for this one. It's just the, the V12 that's already in there. I would recommend all-wheel drive, though, because it just helps you out so much across the board especially on an open world game with changeable weather. And as far as the rest, you know the drill. Lower the weight as much as you can, fit your brakes, suspension, whatever applies, all of your racing parts. The only things that I would not recommend doing are the wings. You don't need the chin splitter, you don't need the spoiler conversion, none of that kind of stuff for any of my tunes. Now as far as the gearbox, I'd recommend a final drive of 4.3, then for the individual gears themselves, 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.18, 0.95 and 0.77. So a very, very simple, very familiar setup that a lot of my cars like this will use because it's just an effective one. We've got neutral camber and tow. Of course, that is in particular because it has all-wheel drive. We've got the high caster angle. You could have it on four degrees or as low as possible. Depends what you prefer. Personally, I like it on 7 for this one. Anti-roll, I've got on 25 and 20. Springs on 110, 175, and of course the lowest ride height front and rear. Dampers on 10, 15, 5 and 6. Aero, funnily enough, cannot be adjusted, even though it has the massive integrated wing, but it's not an adjustable wing, in a similar way to, say, a CLK GTR and that kind of thing. As far as the diff, you could put your deceleration up as well, but be careful about it becoming slippery. It depends what you want from the car. I would recommend 100% on acceleration. I've got zero on decel, so it handles like a hardcore track day car, like a, an MC12 Corsa, if you will, or a Ferrari F50 GT. Then for the center split, I've got 80%, so it's a fairly rear-biased setup, but that 20% going to the front makes a huge difference. Off-road, off the line, and just for control in general. It also helps with power sliding, aka drifting. So, as I said, you can get the tune from my storefront, but what you want to see is how quick can it go in a race. Now, as I alluded to earlier on in the video, the great thing about the MC12 is its all-round ability. Now, that's not to say it's a perfect handling machine. As much as I love it, there are certainly even sharper handling cars out there, and later on in this video you'll see me go across through the barricade a little bit on a tighter corner, because I took it flat out, and it's a lot better through a corner like that than something like a Veyron or a Chiron or a Venom GT would be. But at the same time, it is still a road car. It's not a hardcore track-only vehicle like an F50 GT. So, of course, it has its limits. Plus the fact that it's essentially the road car equivalent of a long-tail race car, those cars do tend to understeer more. They're more about straight-line stability. So, overall, if you do use the MC12, it's a brilliant supercar. One of the best all round in the game, for sure. One of my absolute favourite cars of all time. As far as the design goes, I think it might even be my favourite supercar, just purely based on the way it looks. And as far as performance goes, it's brilliant, <laughs> simply put. So grab the tune from my storefront or copy it from here in the video. I hope you have a ton of fun with it. And of course, click here on screen to check out all of my other tunes as well. But for now, as always, thanks for watching. 